Hi, thanks for joining me today and welcome to my new food channel, I Cook, You Bake. Uh, today I'm going to start, start off with making some uh, nice and delicious white batch bread. It's absolutely gorgeous if, if, if you can get it right. And I, I'm going to go through it through the stages that it's going to make it really, really easy for you. Step by step process. So, so to start off, uh, flour, the, the, the main ingredient for bread. Uh, 1,200 grams of white strong bread, bread flour. We need 20 grams of salt. <laughs> Sorry about that. We need 30 grams of lard. Yeah, we can can use you can use oil. You can use margarine butter, but I tend to use uh, lard because it's got a got a unique flavour. Um, and we need 40 grams of fresh yeast. Just pop it all in a bowl together and give it give it a quick mix. You don't have to be committed. Mixing for ages on this pro on the start of this process. Just get your hands in. Just give it a quick mix. Make sure all the the lard and the uh, the yeast is mixed in. Don't want any big lumps. That's it, it's nearly all mixed in now. So next, you need 750 ml of warm water. You can use cold water, but it does take uh, quite some time uh, for, for the proving process. And the fer fermentation process. So. So the the, uh, the warm water's got to be just just a bit warmer than uh, some finger warm. So you make a well in the centre. Just pour it in. You don't want the uh, the, the Water too hot, it uh, tends to kill the yeast. So this, when you're just mixing it by hand like this, it, it tends to be quite sticky. So just get it all together. This is where you get it out of the bowl. Yeah, people have, uh, have found it quite hard to make bread, but I can guarantee you 100% it's easy. You can get it right 100% all the time with this, with this method.
it all mixed in like that. People have a different, <coughs> different ways of uh, kneading the door. Doesn't matter what uh, what way you, you've got, as long as you pull pull the uh, pull the door and make it elastic. Is that in the end? That's what you're trying to do with the, the door. Give it give it some structure. all the flour in. Right. Make sure you've got, got all the flour. Everything. This is where you start kneading and the Got to need for, for for at least ten minutes. I, I well, I do it for ten minutes. Make sure it just get get all of it with one hand and and, and and stretch it like that. So do this for ten minutes, and I'll be back in ten. Hi, welcome back. Been uh, kneading now for 10 minutes. This is what it should look like. It's nice and smooth and nice and lacticated. When I'm saying lacticated, it's uh, it's quite stretchy. So that, that's how you, how you how you want it. So it's see see the structure in that. It's, it's nice and lacticated. That's how you want it. If, it, if it's uh, if it's lumpy and it's uh, and it, and it turns as soon as you you pull it. It's not right. So you need it to be elasticated. So I'm going to put this now on the towel with some flour on it. towel for 45 minutes. I'll leave it there. It's quite quite warm in this kitchen tonight so I'll, I'll, I'll just leave it outside then. It should double in size. So this is called the, the bulk fermentation. So you, you, leave it, uh, you leave it 45 minutes and then uh, there's another process called the knocking back process uh, where you knock all the uh, air and gas, gas out of it. So I'm going to come back in 45 minutes, uh, knock it back, and then I'm going to need for, for a further five minutes, uh, and then I'm going to leave it for another 10, ten minutes, and then we can, can start cutting it up and uh, moulding it for, for proving. The, pr the proving process, which I'll show you after, is uh, the rising of the, of the bread. So I'll come back in 45 minutes. And uh, we'll see how it is, guys. See you in a bit. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. It's uh, it's been 45 minutes. <coughs> of the uh, the bulk fermentation. Right, what I'm going to do, do now is I'm going to knock this this door back. I'm going to need it for, for about five minutes, and I'm going to put it back to the towel. 
see how uh, how much it's stretched now. It's really it's gone really elasticated, so you can stretch it quite away now. There's quite a lot of air in it, so that needs knocking knocking back, which means knocking all the the air and gas out of it. Should be about, should be about right. Oh, there's uh, out of it now. We need to put it back in the towel for a, a few minutes. About, about, about ten minutes. And uh, let's put some more flour on the, uh, the towel. Back in ten minutes, guys. Hi, well, welcome back. We uh, just gonna mix again from the knockback stage. Give it a bit, bit of a mix in again. Scale this off at uh, 500 grams. So this one makes uh, three loaves and a, and a small, small one at 400 grams. So what, what we're going to do now, mold these, uh, mold these into a ball.
get your get your uh, your, your palm with your hand, and your heel heel on your, on, on the palm. But all you want to do is pre press these down like that and roll it. Press press down with your the, the uh, your palm again, the, the heel of your palm of your hand like that. And roll. Like that. Again, heel. Same again. I'm going to do this about four four times. mold mold round right as you mold round turn upside down and the uh, the creases at the obviously at the bottom all you want to do is roll it out like a sausage Right, so the crease is now at the bottom. Like that. When you get, get your tray, in the back with these back sloths, you're gonna put about you're gonna put three on one tray. I'm mold it round again. And then mold it like a sausage. So you want three, three on there, and one tray like that. When the uh, when they start proving, they're gonna start sticking, sticking to each other. So by that time uh, we get them in the oven, they're gonna be. Um, as, long as, as long as the tray and as wide as well so there's going to be plenty of volume on them right, what we're going to do next is uh, we're going to get some hot water we're going to put them in the prover what you can do because not everybody's going to have one of these provers so, what, uh, what, you, what you can actually do is, is uh, get a black, black, black bean bag or some some, um, some oiled uh, cling film and put put it over the top. What I, what I usually do if I have got, when I don't have the prover is uh, I put it put it in a black bean, bean black bean bag. And uh, make sure it doesn't touch the door, because if it starts touch touching the door uh, with a bin bag, it sticks to it. But if you get some uh, oiled cling film, it doesn't do that. So I'll put it in. 
the proven out. And some uh, some water, hot water underneath. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes. Do the final one. Just roll it out like a sausage. So make sure the uh, the seam is at the bottom. Melt it nice and smooth like that. There might be a few air bubbles in it, but you, you need it nice and smooth like that. Okay, put the uh, tea towel over the top. Alright, come back in about uh, 30 minutes. Right, thanks guys for coming back. Uh, this is the final stage now. The, the, uh, the, the batch loss have been proved. Quite nice size. I'm going uh, to put them in the oven. What, uh, what, what we need to do now is uh, put some white flour on these on these uh, batch, batch loaves and uh, cut them down the centre. Then uh, once we get them in, in the oven, we need to put a bit of steam in the oven. So we need to put some uh, a tray at the bottom of the oven and put some, put some water on the tray. So we'll do that now. Right guys, I've, uh, I've just put a, a tray at the bottom of the oven. Once it's hot, I'll put some uh, some water, a cup of water on the tray, and that that's going to ev evaporate and uh, give us some some nice steam that makes a nice crust on the uh, on the loaf. So I'll do that now. I'll, I'll put some uh, put some flour in the sieve. Give it plenty of uh, flour on the batch. Don't be frightened to give it plenty of flour. And then uh, on the log, just cut it down the centre. to get these in the oven.
up. Sit, guys. It should take about uh, probably about 30 minutes. We'll be back, back in 30 minutes and show you the end result. Okay? See you in 30 minutes. Thanks a lot, guys. Hey guys, thanks for coming back. I've uh, I've just took the the back loaves out of the oven. The one that, the one on the uh, the left. See, there's a big difference between the uh, the one in the in the prover and the one under the towel. The one under the towel is uh, quite quite uh, a bit <coughs> quite a bit uh, smaller than the uh, the one on, ones on the right. So it, uh, as you can see, it does make a big difference. But the the uh, the, the overall quality of the, the loaves are quite good. So it, once you, <coughs> as well, you can tell when when they bake. As if you tap on them and the, and it's quite hollow, like that, you can tell that they're done. So, so yeah, it's uh, you've got a got a quality bait there. <clears throat> so thanks, uh, thanks for joining me, guys. And hopefully, if you like what you see, you can uh, subscribe to my channel. And uh, hopefully, we'll uh, we'll see you soon, guys. Because uh, for the next few weeks, I'm uh, I'm going to make a few more videos. The next, the next one, I'm gonna, yeah, uh, I'll make some cookies, and uh, see what you think of the videos, and we'll, uh, we'll get back to you. Thanks a lot, guys, for joining me. Thank you very much. Goodbye.